Another type of technology you have uh, reduces emissions in yeah. the air yeah. from power plants. Now, that gives you a great interest in what kind of fuels are used to produce power in the world. What's the outlook? What are, what are the fuels that are going to produce most of our electric power in the next five or ten years? Well, like it or not, coal is very abundant and coal electricity production from coal-fired units is increasing around the world and it will continue to increase in places like China and India, it's heavily used in Eastern Europe. I was just in South Africa last year, heavily used in South Africa. So it, it is highly abundant, highly used, and will continue to be. So the challenge there is to, if it's going to be used, how to, to, to be more environmentally friendly, how to reduce the impact of coal-fired plants. And that's an area that, that our technology fits well. And both in, in helping the burn more efficient the coal, so you get more energy out of a unit of coal, so you use less coal, but then to capture the NOx, SOx, and mercury and particulates out of the coal system in a very capital and operating cost effective way, much more capital effective than other technologies. Right. Uh, you mentioned China, which I keep reading is opening a new coal-fired plant per week or something yeah. like that, a tremendous volumes. Have they shown interest in this type of technology? They have, and, and we've had discussions with the government. We've had um, uh, three projects going for the last uh, year and a half, and, and they started up over the last six months, uh, demonstration projects in different coal-fired type facilities, one in a steel plant, one in an electric utility, and one in a, in a, in a general uh, industrial complex, all to demonstrate that the technology works that it can achieve the, the environmental regulation goals in an economic way. And so that, that's all happening now. The, the startup of these units has been going well, and we expect to take that success and, and leverage it to other project opportunities. Do you find that China is more interested in pollution reduction generally than it used to be? Absolutely. I've been going to China for over 20 years now, uh, I've been in businesses where we've built facilities in China, and the challenge was always that, that as a global company, we were building a facility that was, much, was meeting our global standards for air pollution and water control quality, while our Chinese competitors were not. Today, it's very different. The Chinese government has put a high priority on it. I would say the Chinese population has put a higher priority on environmental improvement and it's translated to business, both in terms of, of regulations and enforcement of those regulations. And another very, very effective approach is with the state-owned enterprises, big part of the Chinese economy, the CEOs are being judged on what they call green GDP. So a combination of how they grow their company, but also the environmental improved performance of that company. And so they're, since they're being judged on that, it's obviously a high priority for them. And it's been a tremendous change just in the last two to three years.